Welcome back to F-Zero GP Legend. Another week, another episode. Today we're doing Select the next in the series of Grand Prix, the Choose Silver Cup. Expert. Select your it, kind of an uninteresting Choose demon vehicle. scheme they got going here. First there was gemstones, and there was playing cards, then there was chess pieces, and now it's just plain old medals. Oh well. First up is Silence Box Rink 2. You can see that the top of the course is what's been most changed from Box Rink 1. Either way, it means I get to hear the silence theme again. Still like that theme. The machine I'm using today is the Sonic Phantom. It's the second of the machines that originally required the E-Reader to unlock, and that was a very risky jump to do there. Uh, not going to try that shortcut again without the without uh, boosting. But now we have boost. So, the Sonic Phantom's thing is, it's turning is a little slippery, but, well, I should probably stop messing up. It's turning is a little more, a uh, little less slippery than the, uh, Night Thunders, but it's still not ideal, obviously because it has a D grip. Although, its boost is pretty nice, and, um, but another problem I have with it is despite its C in body, it still, it still can't take very much punishment. Oh well. Let's see, its max speed appears to be only slightly less than a Night Thunder, so... Pretty uninteresting machine. I wonder why they wanted you to use an e-reader card to unlock the, this thing when it's not even very interesting. Anyway, the Silver Cup is going to be all about AI exploitation. Oh yes, I want you to pay attention to that little mark um, icon in, on the bottom of the screen. Notice how it always seems to be behind me no matter where I am or how fast I am going. You're going to want to pay attention to that, especially in the next couple of courses. Next up is Caterpillar 2. A sand ocean course. Now, uh, the original caterpillar, as you've seen before in the in, in pretty much everywhere else that Three, caterpillar gets used, two, one, that that course had a pretty bad shortcut. It's a little less bad here because because you, you can see about midway through the course that's what's changed. And I'll point out specific parts that have changed when they come up. But uh, basically, you can't do the first half of the shortcut anymore. You can still do the second half, and you know I'm going to demonstrate that, of course. So right here, you see that uh, yeah, there's a lot less empty space, and there's more conveyor belts. They are actually uh, pushing towards you, so you will so you will be going slower if you run over them, even though it doesn't look like it. I don't think this uh, speed indicator doesn't really uh, count for conveyor belts if you're running them over. So here's the shortcut. Now all of it's... Oh, actually, I'm not doing this in this lap. Three laps to go. It's a little tricky to do if you hit that jump lane because you're risking overshooting the next jump. That little mark icon is actually starting to annoy me now that I think about it. I mean, look at how jittery it is. Okay, here's the shortcut. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Now you might wonder what happens if you overshoot the finish line. Well, uh, you've seen what can happen before. It doesn't count as a finish. And uh, you don't go on to the next lap. But, uh... I tried doing that just to see. Your rank does not decrease if you overshoot the finish line. You'd think it, your rank would decrease because then you're obviously a whole lap behind the other computers, but no, that doesn't happen. So what, does the computer follow you and make the same mistake? That doesn't make sense. Got no idea what's going on with AI there. I mean, they're, um, 
see, they're cheating enough to always be behind you, like right behind you, as you can see by the little mark icon. But then they are stupid enough to actually repeat the same mistake as you. That is what I'm getting. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it happens, but... Who cares? We have a three-way tie for second place in that in the Grand Prix. That's amazing, isn't it? Now for the course that actually made me lose a life because the computer decided to get overly aggressive. Three, two, ready, go! We can see the Bloodhawk managed to pull off a rocket start. That's nice. Hooray, I actually destroyed the machine and... Oh, landmines! Those certainly weren't there in the original expansion park. Neither were these tight turns and these tight spaces. I, I'd say they actually succeeded in making this course a little more difficult than it was before. I'm actually finding myself in fourth place this time. Four laps to go. You've got a new booster. Yeah. Of course, uh, give it a couple of laps and all of the mines will have exploded by then anyways, so that's one threat out of the way. And I've got to stop doing that. You got a new booster. Wow, look at how much energy I lost there. That That is completely on me. It's the L. Pierce curse. You always mess up on camera and never off camera. Three laps to go. Got computers, uh, maybe trying to push me into the mines on purpose. And, and right behind me is the Golden Fox, come to get his revenge. So he can actually catch up to me, of course. Two laps to go. if I hit the walls enough times. Is that actually the Golden Fox? I, I sometimes get the Golden Fox confused with the Crazy Bear because their color schemes are very similar. It would be weird if the Crazy Bear got first place because it's a horrible machine. <laughs> It does not matter how fast you go, the computer is always right behind you. Anyways, we're out of we're out of here. Congratulations! Three down, two to go. You won first place. Spoiler alert, this is actually a perfect 500 run. Oh, it's slip highway. And does Slip Highway 2 do anything about the shortcut? No, it does not. What did you expect? I mean, it's a little trickier because the spaces are tighter. But you can still do the Slip Highway shortcut on the second variation of the course just as easily. In fact, I suggest we do so. On the second lap, though, I don't do it on the first lap. And oh, that was uh, close. I shouldn't have uh, pushed down on the on the D-pad in order to lengthen my jump. I almost fell into the water there. And wow, I got hit in mid-air. You don't see that often. I didn't even know you actually could get hit in mid-air. That's Okay, that's a point in GP Legends favor now that I think about it. So, let's break the course once again. Yep. Now, uh, notice that the mark icon is still there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it seems that the computer follows you if you take the shortcut there, too. Yeah. Seems weird. It's also weird is this. You notice that the golden fox is the machine I just passed? 
Are we going to take the shortcut again? And yeah. um, we're going to wait for the whoever's the second to pass me up. That is not the golden fox. And, you know, you, you probably might be thinking, oh, the super piranha just decided to pass the golden fox right after you made that jump. But still, did he actually follow me when I made the jump? Is that what's going on? Yeah, you know, I don't quite... It's just teleporting computers being weird, I guess. Or looking weird. Or maybe they're not teleporting. Maybe they're actually following me and making the jump. If the, if the game actually showed the computers on the... Uh, on the minimap, then we'd be able to tell for sure because, because you know, if you've ever watched the TAS of Super Nintendo F Zero, you can actually see the computer car making like a huge teleport or whatever. And we have a two-way tie for second place once again. The final course is Mist Flow Front and Back Two. Uh, you might have seen this back in Zero Test. Three, two, ready? This time around, it's, um... Actually, you know, I'm thinking I'm actually kind of like Mist Flow for the challenge. It's pretty disorientating, because the turns come out of nowhere, and you have to know where the death... Well, I don't like dash plate memorization, because that's kind of what I see a player doing in order to get the feel for Mist Flow. But, um, here it's pretty nice. Yeah. Actual challenge! Of course, it could be the AI having a spark of brilliance. So, this might actually excite you a little bit because it's not exactly certain what position I'm going to end the race in. Not that it matters because I'm pretty much going to win the Grand Prix overall, anyways, but. Can Efren get a perfect 500? That is the question. And I already told you I did, though. <laughs> so there goes all the excitement right there. So yeah, like I said, Miss Flo's a little disoriented thing doing the... due to the low lower vision. So, I guess that's a point in Miss Flo's favor. Music is also nice. Interesting to note that this song gets used in a couple of uh, story mode cutscenes, even though the course itself is never seen in story mode. And you have to wonder why that is. I guess Miss Flow didn't really fit anywhere, but then again, neither did White Lane. Yeah, it's probably likely that Miss Flow simply didn't fit anywhere in the story. I mean, you never see Miss Flow mentioned ever, ever again in anywhere. I mean, it shows up in the climax again, but it's not like they used Miss Flow in the TV show or anything. Then again, they don't really use a lot of settings in the TV show, anyways, other than Newton City, Port Town, and possibly Red Canyon. It's been forever since I watched the show. One more U-turn and the Silver Cup is over. Oh no, I'm in third, but I push up in the first place at the last second, almost. First place once again. You won first place! Crazy Bear did surprisingly well there. Second place. So that is it for the Silver Cup. I actually kind of like it. Though I'm still wishing that... I'm still wishing Master Mode was a thing in GB Legend, but I'm going to wish that all the time. So, oh well. Next up is the Gold Cup, which has a bit of an irritating twist to it. Which I suppose we'll get to when we get there, but let's just say I'm going to have to run it multiple times. 
suppose I'd have to show off an additional machine while I'm at it. So that's the thing. Look forward to that. See you next time.